Hello everyone, welcome to Flowers in Your Hair. This is Somni. Wherever you are, I hope that you are doing well. Today, I am going to be reviewing two products from Living Pure Natural. And I am going to confirm whether or not these are items that you should keep on your vanity. I would like to thank Living Pure Natural for the complimentary items, which are the Nia Intense Hydration Face Cream. So I'm just going to move it closer for you to get a much better look. The lid is very reflective. It's like a mirror. So you can probably see mm, the lights that I use as well as the um, camera. There you go. And the second item, it is the Diamond Elite Extra Enriched Hand Cream. And as you can see, it is very similar to the uh, Nia face cream in terms of uh, presentation. Let's get a little bit closer. There we go. I'm going to show you what they look like. So I'm just going to open them up. This is the Nia face cream. This is the diamond. So one is a face cream and the other is a hand cream. They both have a lot of uh, similarities, which um, I'll explain throughout the video. And this is why I am reviewing both items in one video. Also, in case you're wondering why it looks half full, it's because I've been testing these two items thoroughly for the past uh, two months. I'm going to apply these products right away because I would like to give my face and my hands time to absorb the ingredients and as it absorbs, I will continue to share with you my experience with these two items. Before recording this video, I exfoliated my face, my neck, decollete area and hands using the Living Pure Natural Flowers Face Scrub. I have done a review on that product and the link to that video as well as any resources that I mention here can be found in the description box. I'm going to begin with the uh, face cream and I like to apply my lotions with some kind of um, applicator or at least use the applicator to get some face cream and apply it onto the fingers and then directly onto the skin. And the reason I prefer to use an applicator as much as possible, it's because it prevents cross-contamination, which means that the integrity of the face cream lasts a lot longer. No matter how thoroughly we wash our hands, there's always a chance that we might have missed a spot and that ends up contaminating the product. I have combination skin, so I prefer to apply the lotion on the drier areas first. And as I move to the oily areas, they won't get that much moisturizer because it's already slightly oily and with a little bit of moisturizer is enough. It's very dry tonight. So I am adding extra moisturizer. I'm usually extra careful around the eye area. I 
And now I'm going to apply the hand cream. And with that, I'm just going to use a different applicator. I'm just going to show you the cream up close. And any extra cream, I just apply it onto my forearms. Alright, so now that I have applied the products, let's begin with the review. I first learned about Living Pure Natural when I listened to their presentation on one of my very favorite podcasts. It's called Skincare Talk Radio. I recommend that you uh, check out the podcast because the host, Ciela Scent, has invaluable information regarding holistic skincare. So go ahead and uh, check out her work. When I listened to that episode, what really stood out to me was the fact that a lot of the ingredients used in their formulas are from Greece. And that is one part of the world that I'm not really familiar with when it comes to uh, skincare. So I was eager to try their products and check out their formulas and learn about their approach to skincare. Now, he, this is the information that I have regarding the uh, Nia face cream. It's vegan. Also, Living Pure Natural is environmentally friendly and they do not test on animals. The ingredients for the um, Nia face cream, again, I'm going to show you the uh, product. Here we go. So the ingredients are almond oil, argan oil, cacao extract, jasmine, and shea butter. For the Diamond Elite hand cream, the ingredients are gardenia, jasmine, and olive oil. So as you can see, the ingredients are very uh, natural. One of the things I would like to explain about this review is I tested these products under wintry conditions. Whenever I do a product review, I always like to mention the uh, climate because the products can sometimes work a little bit differently depending on the weather. That has been my personal experience. One product works really well in winter, but then in the summer, it's just a little bit differently. That's just some food for thought. And I just want to clarify, I tested this during the winter. As previously mentioned, I have combination skin. What that means is the cheeks are dry and the T-zone is oily. I live in the city of Toronto and in my experience, this city is windy and dry all year round. In the summer, there can be some humidity and then the winter is drier, but for the most part, it's pretty dry. As a result, I am always on the lookout for highly moisturizing face creams and hand creams. And what has happened is because I was using products that are very thick and creamy, sometimes they would clog my pores and cause some breakout. And because of the uh, dry climate, my skin would not glow. And so I use the um, face creams the really rich ones as a way to create some kind of a healthy glow 
In some instances, I have been successful in obtaining a beautiful shine. But in other instances, because the products are so thick and oily, I end up with this shine that is not aesthetically pleasing. Or there's the other situation, the product does not get absorbed by my skin. It just sits on the surface and I am not able to wear it under my makeup. So for me, it's been a constant battle to look for a face cream or lotion that is highly moisturizing without that greasy look and feeling. It's so dry here that I've had to reapply lotion throughout the day. So I'll apply it before I'm heading out to work, reapply it at noon, and then again around four o'clock because that's how dry it is here and the uh, product just evaporates or dries off. I really don't know what happens to it. All I can say is that I feel the uh, tightness on my skin and I feel that my skin is thirsty. So I have to constantly reapply moisturizers. So that has been my experience with uh, lotions such as face creams and hand creams. So what happened when I tried the uh, Nia face cream and Diamond Elite hand cream? Well, when I first opened the uh, containers, I was welcomed by a wonderful fragrance. These products smell beautifully and I'm the kind of person that does not wear perfume because I'm very particular about it and these ones the fragrance was very pleasant the way that I can describe the aroma is like um, maybe walking into a health food store where they have a lot of essential oils herbs and spices or if you're into aromatherapy because you are surrounded by natural ingredients and those ingredients have their own uh, scent so it's very relaxing it's almost like being in a spa i really liked it the other thing is that if you are the kind of person who likes to wear perfume so you know you take care of your skin you apply makeup and to complete the outfit you like to apply some perfume i highly recommend that you skip the perfume because the uh, fragrance on these two items is pretty strong and even though the fragrance dissipates throughout the day it is still there and I did receive some compliments where people are like oh you smell so nice you smell so pretty and so I knew that the scent was still there it's very pleasant so I'm going to talk a little bit about my daily routine. So in the mornings after the shower, I like to apply my face cream because my skin is still damp. It is best to apply your lotions when your skin is damp because it gets absorbed much better. And especially with this dry climate, it makes it a lot easier. And so as I continue to get ready for work, that gives my skin time to absorb the face cream. And by the time I am almost done getting ready for work, my skin has already absorbed the face cream and it's a really smooth matte finish. It is then that I decide whether or not to wear makeup or just simply eyeliner mascara so basically i have options because this face cream does not give me that greasy oily look that i used to get with other products it's a beautiful clean matte finish so when i touch it if it's still wet it means that it is still being absorbed and by the time it's done 
the way that I know that it's fully absorbed is because I'll glide my fingers against my face and when it glides smoothly that's how I know that it's ready for makeup application personally I wear a little bit of makeup so it's the eyeliner mascara as some uh, face powder which I'll show later so that you can see how this works under the makeup so as I went about my day at work when it was around lunchtime I noticed that my skin was fine I did not need to reapply moisturizer and the same thing happened when it was the afternoon I usually get ready for bed around 10 p.m. and that is when I'll wash my face and remove all debris and makeup and it is then that I noticed that the moisturizer was being washed off so that was incredible because the face cream lasted all day and I could feel that my skin felt nourished one of the things i like to do is from monday to friday i'll wear skincare products and makeup but then on the weekend i like to give my skin a break it is its moment to just breathe so i leave it alone no products nothing however because of the dry weather the weekends can create some discomfort for my skin because I can feel that my skin is thirsty and it's asking for the moisturizer. However, with the uh, Nia face cream, I did not experience that because I came to understand that this moisturizer from Monday to Friday, what it was doing was nourishing my skin. So on my days off, it didn't need the moisturizer because that nourishment is long lasting. Basically, with other face creams, what I noticed is that they just stay on the surface of the skin. And yes, they are protecting your epidermis from the elements, but they are not nourishing the skin. So when you remove the product, the skin is dry. Whereas with the uh, Nia face cream, yes, I would wash it off at night, but it worked so hard throughout the day that at nighttime, my skin felt supple, smooth. It was nourished. Also, when I first started using the Nia face cream, I used to apply a lot more moisturizer. And as the testing continued, I noticed that I was using less and less moisturizer because my skin did not need that same quantity as it did before. So the more you use it, the less cream you need, which is good news because you want this product to last as much as possible. Now for the hand cream, it is the same scenario. At work, I thoroughly wash my hands on a regular basis to prevent germ contamination and that sort of thing. So I'm constantly washing my hands. My hands uh, go through a lot and I try my best to really take good care of them. And what I noticed with the uh, Diamond Elite, it's the same thing as the Nia face cream that when I applied it, of course, it had this uh, wet feeling because it's recently been applied and so it needs a little more time to be absorbed. But once it's absorbed, it's a nice matte finish. And so what I used to do in the past with other face creams is as soon as I would wash my hands, I had to reapply hand lotion because it had been washed off. And again, I could feel that tightness um, around the uh, hands. However, with the Diamond Elite, I only applied it uh, 
once. So it was once in the morning. And as I washed my hands throughout the day, I even took this to work with me because I was anticipating that I would need to apply it throughout the day. I didn't. So somehow the formula works fast enough to uh, penetrate into the skin. And so as I was washing my hands, afterwards they did not feel dry they were okay and the other thing i noticed is because of the uh, dry weather i used to get a lot of um, fine lines on my hands and no matter how much moisturizer i would use those lines were still there my skin the top of the hand always looked withered kind of what I noticed that with the Diamond Elite, I am not getting that look. And I'm noticing that the lines on my hands are diminishing. You see, sometimes the lines on our skin can be caused by dryness. So when you replenish your skin, either by drinking lots of water or nourishing your skin from the inside out with nutrition or using an effective hand cream those lines can diminish and for me this has been working really well one feedback that i would like to share with you and this is something i was not anticipating but it happened i got sick i had sinusitis which is like a cold or flu that affects the uh, sinus area and as a result I was using a lot of uh, tissue and because it wasn't the one that has the built-in aloe vera or lotion I ended up getting a red nose and very uh, irritated skin and you know teeny tiny cuts I'm pretty sure a lot of you know what that feels like. I'm sure a lot of you have gone through that. What I noticed is that with the Nia face cream, it was restoring this area back to health. To me, that was impressive because in the past, when I've been sick and I end up with a red nose, I would use whatever lotion I had available and the product would make it worse it would flare up and so I had to use ointment something that had more healing properties in order to uh, soothe the skin around my nose I didn't have to do that because the Nia face cream took care of that now I don't know if this um, face cream is supposed to be medicinal or if it has that kind of uh, properties is just an observation again i was not planning on it it's just something that happened and i thought it was interesting to share with you so i really like how this uh, cream has been working on my skin i think you can pretty much tell that i have been liking these products very much and before I give you the final word, I'm just going to do a test and see if my skin is ready for makeup application. Because I just want you to see how it works. As I previously mentioned at the beginning of the video, is in the past with other face creams, it was really hard to use them in combination with makeup. And that's because the creams were too thick and they were not going anywhere. They were just sitting on the surface. And so when I would use powder foundation or liquid foundation, as I would use the brush, I noticed that the um, tips of the brush would be oily because it's picking up the moisturizer or in some instances the sunscreen so here i want to show you how the nia face cream works with makeup so i'm just going to use a 
light powder foundation, eyeliner, and mascara. Alright, so this is my daily makeup look. So it's the uh, powder foundation, eyeliner, mascara, and lip gloss. And sometimes I do wear some blush. So I want to show you the makeup brush. And as you can see, there are no oily tips the brush did not pick up the nia face cream during my testing as i used the nia face cream in combination with my cosmetics i noticed that the face cream did not affect my makeup on the contrary it was a very smooth application the uh, eyeliner and mascara did not um, smudge because of the um, moisturizer uh, it, as a matter of fact it was the snow and the rain that would uh, smudge the uh, makeup not the moisturizer in the past when i have worn highly moisturizing creams that are very thick as i would blink i could see that the lashes would come into contact with my skin and the uh, cream and it would start to uh, smudge i did not experience that with the uh, nia face cream so it goes really well under makeup also one of the things i like to um, remind people is that when you're using a face cream not only apply it to your face apply it to your ears the front of the neck, the back of the neck, and the uh, décolleté area. It's just so that this entire area is consistent with your face. As a side note, I just want to say, for those of you who have pets, please consult with your vet to ensure that the ingredients in the uh, Diamond Elite are not toxic to uh, your animals. I'm always uh, talking to my vet and making sure that the ingredients are not going to be uh, toxic because yes, you know, they are natural ingredients, they are effective, but they can be toxic to some. Some people and animals are allergic to certain ingredients or it can be toxic to them. So just as a safety precaution, I don't want to alarm anyone, it's just to be on the safe side please consult with uh, your vet so here's the final word on the uh, nia face cream and the diamond elite hand cream and that is i strongly recommend that you keep these items on your vanity they are must-haves not only did i find these products to be highly moisturizing they were also nourishing my skin which is fantastic news because on the days that i went without wearing lotion my skin was fine because it was nourishing my skin i found that it gave me options on how i want to uh, wear my look it did not clog my pores I didn't experience any breakout it smells great I found it to be relaxing it made me feel pretty if I may say so <laughs> so as you can see I have a lot of uh, good things to say about the uh, Nia face cream and the diamond elite hand cream so I invite you to uh, check the description box visit living pure natural Tell them I say hello and check out the products 
If you have tried these two items before, let us know in the comments below. In addition, if you don't mind, can you also let me know what the weather was like? I'm always interested to know how products work under uh, different weather conditions. It's just a thing about me. I always want to know. Thank you again for watching. If you like these types of videos, please click like and subscribe. Take good care of yourself and I hope to see you very soon.